Welcome to the Hypertherm Cutting Institute informational video, XPR Daily Check Sheet. This short video will cover the steps that need to be taken to complete the XPR Daily Check Sheet. By performing the daily checks, you can be sure to find small problems before they impact production. These checks also help to ensure good cut quality and longer problem-free operation. This video covers daily checks for the XPR system, but does not include other daily checks that may be suggested by the table manufacturer or other components that you may have installed on your cutting system. The daily check sheet can be found in the XPR 300 Preventative Maintenance Instruction Manual and lists the components that need to be inspected. It is suggested to complete this check before system operation each day. First, examine the gas regulators for the supply gases. Make sure that the supply gas pressures are within the recommended range. A table is included in the manual for your reference. The XPR system uses a gas pressure of 7.5 bar plus or minus 0.4 bar, or 110 psi plus or minus 5 psi. Adjust the regulators as necessary. Using the web interface tool, activate gas flow by using the test preflow mode and make sure that the pressure at the regulator is set to 7.5 bar or 110 psi. Repeat this process in cut flow mode and verify that the pressure at the regulator remains at 7.5 bar or 110 psi. Remember, nitrogen is required for all mild steel processes for the XPR. If you are using a VWI or Optimix console, you will need to check the shield water regulator. The core console does not use this feature. Using Table 9 in the XPR instruction manual, ensure the water pressure being supplied to the console is at least 2.8 bar, 40 psi, and not more than 7.5 bar, 110 psi. The regulator on the console is not adjustable. Any adjustments that need to be made will require an additional regulator or boost pump installed on the supply line. Check the coolant level by visually looking into the reservoir through the cap opening. The coolant level is full when it is filled to the base of the fill neck. Also, look for contamination in the tank. If contamination is present, draining the coolant may be required and is outlined in the six-month check. Add coolant to the reservoir if needed. Use the correct type of coolant or mixture if additional coolant is required to prevent damage to the system. Record the amount of coolant that was required on the inspection sheet. This will allow you to monitor the usage over time. Verify power is removed from the power supply. This will ensure there is no coolant flow in the torch and allows us to continue our inspection of the torch head and consumables. Remove the torch head from the quick disconnect receptacle and remove the consumables for inspection. Before installing the consumables, be sure to look over the torch head as well. Torch rebuild kits are available and can be found in the parts list. How to inspect the torch and consumables is outlined in another video for your convenience on the Hypertherm Cutting Institute website. Do not apply excessive amounts of lubricant. This may cause damage to the torch and consumables and will result in poor cut quality. This concludes our video on performing daily checks on the XPR cutting system. Thank you for watching this video. For more XPR videos and more, please log on to the Hypertherm Cutting Institute.